Good morning students. Welcome back to another session with me. I'm your host Abdul Rahman and let's go straight into our work today. Our activity for today is test number 12 of GCE Order Level Paper. Test number 12 is a focus on your grammar and see how proficient you are in your grammar. In this activity, you should have a sound knowledge in basically three things. The first one is passive voice, second is your recorded speech and the third one is different verb structures. Let's go for the first one. In passive voice, what you usually do is you convert what something has been done into a past tense or something where the doer is not known or not needed. Because passive voice means a sentence in which the person who does the action is not important or not known. For example, the students painted the classroom. The students painted the classroom. This is an active sentence. When it comes to passive, when you transform it into passive, it will be the classroom was painted. You can say by the students or you can just omit it. The classroom was painted. Reported speech deals with something that you report. So the actual sentence will be moved back to a tense with the corresponding grammar structures. For example, if we say something like this, my sister says, I am drinking coffee. So you can convert into reporter speech such as this. My sister said that she was drinking coffee. So you can see how it has been transformed. What about the third one? Third one is a test on your verb structures, specifically grammar structures. Is it become or is it is becoming or is it was becoming, is it became or had became, has became, whatever the structures. Usually you will get one of these which is out of 12. There are 12 structures that you, you should have some knowledge on. Let's go through the structures very quickly. Let's start with the present tense, right? In present tense we have 4, past tense we have 4 and future tense also you have 4. What are the structures in present tense? Simple present, present continuous, present perfect, present perfect continuous. Similarly, simple past, past continuous, past perfect, past perfect continuous. In future, how? Yes, simple future, future continuous, future perfect and future perfect continuous. Your knowledge in all these tenses will help you to get the full marks in this activity. So my dear children, as you are a bit weak in grammar, I hope to give you a little bit more activity this time. So I hope that you will complete all the activities and send it over to me so that we could discuss it in the evening. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.